Hi, we're Bill and Deanna of Living the Silver Life. Come join us as we explore the sights and sounds of Fredericksburg at Christmas time. started uh, putting up Christmas trees in their homes in the 16th century and it didn't become popular in America until the 1800s along with glass ornaments that also were introduced by Germans and the candles that came on the Christmas tree. The German pyramid comes from the Ore Mountains of Germany and uh, it is believed that it's the predecessor of the Christmas tree. While some of the richer families could enjoy a Christmas tree, some of the poorer families enjoyed a German pyramid. They could be from one to five tiers, and on each tier would be a different scene. The warmth of the candles would rise and turn the, turn the uh, propeller at the top, which would make the uh, tiers turn. I'm finding everything okay. Everything and more. Thank you. <laughs> Love the store. We have all kinds of cute dog stuff. Oh, look at the camper down there. That's so cute. Oh, you see these table things here? shop has been a staple in Fredericksburg for as long as I can remember. Make it to Dooley's Five and Dime. It is your typical old-fashioned Ben Franklin type store with all kinds of goodies that you can only imagine. One place that we like to visit when we are in Fredericksburg is Doss Peach House and it's actually Fisher and Wiser. If you've ever had the raspberry chipotle uh, sauce on cre uh, cream cheese at Christmas time or any other holiday type thing, this is where it came from. Uh, you can get that in the grocery stores, but most everything else you have to come to Fredericksburg or order at jellies.com online. Today we happen to hit it right at their Christmas open house that they have every year. So this is their little store. They also have a satellite store downtown called Fisher and Wiser. If you're lucky enough to get here on the light up parade that goes up and down the street, you get two opportunities to actually see everything. You would have seen the Fisher and Wiser truck in the parade. No trip to Fredericksburg is complete without a stop at the Fredericksburg Pie Shop. Uh, yeah, 
we're actually gonna do this. We're gonna have dessert first because if you don't get your pie early and you get here after lunch, they may be closed by then because they make a certain amount of pies and once they're gone, they're gone. And you don't wanna miss out. There's a chocolate. I was almost stuck at chocolate, but then she said pecan peach shortbread. And I'm thinking, you get two. Well, that. Oh, so I could get a chocolate and a pecan. You sure can. Yeah. Thank you. Makes that decision a little bit easier. It does. Okay, the nine. Yeah. So it's part of your family tradition. It is now. Excellent. Excellent. You 
Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Do you think, uh, is this enough lights to keep you happy for a day or two? Maybe a couple of days. I'm not real sure. We're at the Pertinalis Electric Company, and they put these lights up. Uh, like Les and I were talking about, <laughs> they probably started in October to get it done by It looks like daylight in here. They have hay rides and carriage rides and everything else around. It's amazing. They're electric co-op. They've got all kinds of trucks. <laughs> Fredericksburg is a great place to visit at Christmas. You'll enjoy all the lights of the events that it has offered, plus the cool weather that you won't get in the summer. So, Merry Christmas. From us to you. And have a happy new year.